EU leaders arriving in Vilnius last night, still hoping for a wide-ranging political and economic deal with Ukraine that appears for now to have slipped away. We are going to make it very clear that the EU is ready to accept Ukraine as an associated member, to sign an association agreement. I have no hope it will happen this time, but the door is open. Little more than a week ago, an association agreement appeared to be in the bag, but huge pressure from Russia prompted the Ukrainian president to change course. EU leaders are warning that Ukraine could be in danger of missing an opportunity to develop its economy and raise the living standards of its people. Put like that, it sounds pretty tempting, but it may not be enough to secure the deal they wanted. Supporters of Ukrainian links with the EU gathered outside the summit, just as they have in their tens of thousands in Kiev. Despite the fact that our president did not sign the agreement, we, the people of Ukraine, would like and want to sign the agreement because we want to be a member of the European family. The EU and Ukraine may well declare that the deal isn't dead, that they will continue to negotiate. But the failure to conclude an agreement here has to be seen as a setback, a disappointment in particular for EU countries in Eastern Europe that don't want their neighbours left behind. Chris Morris, BBC News, Vilnius.